Okay, so now we've got our bungs in and our tie downs off, we can put the key in the mercury ignition and switch it to on. Now, turning that on turns the ignition on for both the Orion kit and the engine. The lanyard's important as well, that needs to be in the run position with it clipped on. Now, to start the Orion, all we're going to do is hold down the big red button until it starts. Easy as that, and to turn it off, same thing. Just hit it once and it goes back off again. So before we take off, I'll just run through what these buttons here on the Orion kit do. Firstly, we've got our rear wheels and they're going up. So that's on the top. Anything on the top brings the wheels up. So we've got our rear wheels there and we've got our front wheel there. Now down the bottom, it's the same. The rear wheel going down and the front wheel going down. You'll notice there's a, a cog with an A in the middle of it, with a down and with an up. That's your auto up and down. And what that does is it revs the motor up and it brings both the front wheel up and the rear wheels up if you hit the up button, or the rear wheels, uh, sorry, or brings all three wheels down. It always does the front wheels first and then the back wheels, so you can have a quick look out the back and double check that they're down or up. Now you only want to use that when you're on the water. If you do it on land, it'll be too violent to, it'll be too violent for the thing to handle and you could end up with some issues. So with the steering, the, um, the outboard has a sensor on it and what that does is it tells the computer in the Orion kit where to position the front wheel. So if at any point you need to know which way the front wheel is facing, just have a quick look at the outboard and it'll be reflective of that. We're going to whip it off the trailer now, so have a look and see how it works. First I'm going to start it up. I personally put my back wheels down first, which you want to go up to about 2000 RPM for that, or just over. They come down nice and smooth. Once they're all the way down, you get that nice little beep, and then you can do your front wheel. Now the front wheel will not turn unless it's completely down, so if you ever have trouble with steering, just check that it's completely down first. So this is the joystick that controls how fast you go forward or backwards. What it does is it engages the hydraulics in either forward or reverse, and also revs up the motor electronically. Now, we know we're lined up pretty well in the middle, so we can reverse off. It does also pay to have someone up the front just checking that your wheels aren't coming off the trailer on the wrong angle. Now seeing we've already done all the prep work, we can actually head straight into the water from here. 